Alright, so here we have two new motors from uh, my RC Mart. Uh, these are actually prototypes uh, that they sent me. Thanks, my RC Mart, for sending me these uh, prototype motors so I can test them and uh, share the results with you guys. So these are the RCX uh, 2207, 2400, and 2700 kV. As you can see, I just went ahead and scribed the, uh, uh, the motor kV values here because they were not labeled so I didn't want to get them confused so these as I mentioned these are prototype and they wanted to know how these motors perform and how they compare to the other top motors uh, you know they just wanted to make sure that they they're competitive uh, so they asked me to test them and give them the uh, uh, the results uh, so they can make changes accordingly so that they want a competitive product so I went ahead and tested them as usual and gave them the results and they asked them if I could uh, release results to you guys, uh, I know you guys are been uh, always uh, looking for RCX uh, development. So here's here's the latest. So yeah, they said uh, go ahead and uh, release them. They feel that they're these are pretty close to final. They may still make some changes. Uh, probably, maybe on the KV value, they may adjust it here and there a little bit. But for the most part, uh, they're gonna end up being um, uh, just like like you see here. So. Uh, typical fashion uh, from my RC Mart, uh, they're going for uh, lightness on the motor and uh, as you can see uh, they're using the four spoke pattern on the uh, on the bell so that keeps the weight low and uh, pretty much constructed as, as the 2306 that I tested recently uh, aluminum uh, 7075 uh, bell cap and ring and also the base is supposed to be 7075 aluminum shaft is hardened steel and it is hollow all the way through and they went ahead and they're using a screw for uh, retaining the shaft so that's pretty good a lot of people prefer these screws I think I still kinda like the, the circlips a little bit more uh, with the screws you have to be careful when you remove them uh, otherwise you know they'll you'll end up uh, messing them up and uh, then it's really hard to remove so the best way I've found uh, to remove them uh, I usually mention in most of my videos I just use my soldering iron and just leave it there for like 10 minutes so the heat will loosen the thread lock and then you can crack it loose uh, pretty easily and then remove it otherwise you're gonna end up if you don't do that you're gonna end up uh, messing up the head of the screw uh, you're gonna cam it and it's again it's gonna be hard to remove uh, so here's the shaft as you can see it's uh, hollow all the way through which is pretty good uh, makes it light and also uh, from what I understand it removes stress points at the weakest point so it kind of helps prevent uh, the, the shaft from shearing off on hard impacts so the motor comes with about 150 millimeters uh, of uh, wire leads uh, motor leads so with that much wire we're gonna weigh it and then uh, uh, we'll subtract it from another piece of wire that I'm going to weigh, which is equivalent to, to leaving this wire at that 15 millimeter length. Uh, so with the 150 millimeters worth of wire, it's 34 grams. So if we cut the wire and leave it at 50 millimeters, then you're removing basically 2 grams. So that's 32 grams for a 2207. Pretty, pretty decent weight. Pretty good weight. That's pretty light actually. So as you can see, they went with the uh, naked bottom, a pretty small base on this motor, and this one has looks like the 16, uh, 16 by 16. So it's a square pattern. So it looks like they're not, they're not using the 16 by 19 anymore. It looks like uh, yeah, 16 by 16. So that's pretty good, keeps the weight low. So the base is also aluminum, 775. And as you can see, they're going with the uh, typical for RCX. So uh, this is a four by nine by four millimeter bearing. So a pretty good size bearing there. And these are pretty high quality bearing, uh, ESO Japanese bearings. So uh, remove the screw, so now let's uh, I'll take it apart and we'll take a look at it on the magnifying glass uh, but first uh, these uh, uh, my RC Mar RCX motors the bearings are 
they're easy to remove so that's I, I like that on these motors uh, they fit just snugly uh, uh, just so pretty good tolerances uh, a lot of the motors the, the bearings just pop out but they're you know they don't seat loose on the on the bearing uh, housing uh, so this one is as you can see this is a nine yeah nine millimeter by four it's the the width yeah four millimeters so and the shaft of course is four millimeters uh, so let's look at it on the magnifying glass. Let's get a closer look. Okay, so here's the stator and the bearing. Goes in pretty, pretty easily. And uh, looks like they're using. I want to say these are 0.15 millimeter uh, laminations. They're pretty thin. As you can see, the uh, Windings uh, pretty neat, pretty nicely done. Uh, the winds is there, and here's the bell uh, arc magnets, as you can see, and uh, dynamically balanced, of course. So, overall, a uh, pretty looks like a pretty well made motor. So let's put it together and let's run this uh, on the thrust stand. Let's see what this can do. All right, let's go on to the thrust stand. And here are the thrust test results for the new motor from RCX, RS2207, 2400 kV. This one came in at uh, 2490 kV, so pretty pretty good kV value, I think, uh, close to 2500. Uh, much better than if it was uh, 2400, I think. Uh, a little bit higher is better for this, for this size motor and 5-inch props. So, again, these are prototypes, so I'm not sure if they're going to keep this name RS. They might change the series, I'm not sure. And the KV value should uh, should be the same, I think. It's pretty good. And I think they did mention that these are pretty close to, to production. Uh, they're not going to change that much about them. So the motor does pretty well, actually. Uh, 2207, as I was uh, mentioning in my other reviews, these 2207s have kind of been overlooked. The 2306s kind of seem to take over uh, everyone so everybody was looking at the 2306s and forgot about the 2207s but uh, i think the 2207s it may have like better punch i think uh, probably more responsive uh, just from looking at the test uh, so overall a uh, pretty solid motor uh, performance is pretty good as you can see uh, 5s it clearing clears the two kilogram mark and all uh, all the other props it, it clears 1500 uh, pretty easily uh, all the other five inch props uh, at a pretty decent uh, amps i think uh, this is pretty manageable 
Uh, again, remember this is going to be lower in the air by up to 35, sometimes even 40 percent. So that's pretty man manageable. You know, I always say uh, don't you know don't get scared by these huge amp numbers. Uh, you only see this on the thrust stand, so it's kind of confusing and and misleading in a way, you know. But uh, uh, just keep in mind that we're just testing these motors uh, under same conditions. That's why I I just keep the voltage the same uh, so that we can compare motor to motor. But uh, you know, don't pay attention to the amps too much here on the test. Uh, any motor that I put here is going to have uh, high high amps. That's just the way the thrust stand reads. Uh, of course, uh, other testers are going to get uh, different uh, values. So the important thing is to look at the same results from the same tester. And if you can, you can also do kind of like an equivalent equivalence between uh, two different test setups and just kind of uh, kind of figure out how to compare them. But anyway, a uh, pretty solid motor. This is going to be a pretty good option for 5-inch builds. And if you're running 6-inch, uh, as you can see, also uh, you can drive the 6-inch props, no problem. So pretty pretty good motor overall. Uh, so here's a pretty interesting comparison to make uh, between a 2207 and a 2306 with a very similar KV. From what I measure, only 10 KV difference. So let's uh, check it out. Uh, pretty interesting to see how they how these two motors perform. Pretty similar actually on five inch uh, right here with the 5045 BN. It's pretty much identical. Pretty much the same amps and and thrust. As we move up on the prop size, we can see the uh, the 2207 edging out the 2306 as you can see here on the hq 5043 by 3 slightly higher uh, thrust for pretty much the same amps just a little bit higher then on 5s even on 5s you can see the 2207 it's getting more thrust and actually the amps are just about the same and then as we move on to the 5040 by 4 Prop needs a motor with a little bit more torque uh, to make uh, higher thrust, and the 2207 provides that, as you can see here, almost 100 grams more, and for almost the same amp. So, so here we see the advantage of the 2207, at least for these two motors, we can make that determination. So the story is the same as we move on to the props. The 2207 is getting better performance. Let's move on to the Dow 5046 by three almost 100 grams, uh, the YSXT 5045, also the same gap, and then we, we move on to the bigger props, uh, here, let's see what the difference is, 6045, actually here the gap is even larger, as you can see, uh, uh, more than 100 grams uh, for slightly higher amps, so the 2207 seems to be the better performing motor. Of course, uh, this is just on paper, you know, uh, in the air, it's a different story. The 2306 may in fact have a better or the same characteristics as a 2207, and that depends on on the the pilot. Uh, you know, some pilots may prefer the 2306 over the 2207. Maybe the 2306 it's a smoother motor or the transitions are smoother, and maybe the 2207 is a better motor for racing. You can change speed uh, faster that's for the pilot to decide but overall the two motors are pretty evenly matched for the most part uh, but the 2207 just edges out the 2306 so that's a pretty cool comparison to make uh, two motors from the same uh, factory with the same kv values under the same conditions so yeah thanks uh, thanks rcx and my rc mart uh, for sending these motors that makes this comparison possible all right, so uh, that's the test and review for this prototype motor. Uh, looking forward to checking them out uh, in the air and see see him uh, uh, see what you guys think about them when you start flying them. Uh, so thanks for watching and until the next uh, video.